one of the biggest challenges that we're seeing uh, for both uh, building owners and for, for grid operators is the level of complexity for the power system is growing exponentially. That's more and more intermittent resources and controllable end use applications are added to the system, driving two-way power flow, which is something that from an industry perspective, we hadn't experienced in the past. How do we capture and curate the volume of data that's out there that's necessary to provide the real-time analytics that can be integrated into a grid interactive intelligence system that maximizes this opportunity? Buildings consume more than 70% of the U.S. electricity today, and they account for at least one-third uh, the carbon emissions. A recent report from the U.S. Department of Energy published a national roadmap for grid interactive efficient buildings. Their goal is to triple the energy efficiency and the demand flexibility of buildings by 2030 relative to 2020. According to the Department of Energy, the value that grid interactive buildings can bring to the U.S. power system is between 8 billion and 18 billion annually by 2030. It helps us reduce carbon by about 80 million tons of CO2 annually. And then that's the equivalent, just as a, a benchmark for you, about 50 medium-sized coal plants or 17 million cars. At Southern Company, we are continuously looking for ways to improve how our grid operates and develop new and innovative ways to meet our net zero carbon goals. We believe grid interactive efficient buildings can play a key role in this transition by becoming an active resource that helps balance and facilitate renewables and EVs without impacting customer quality of service. AI is the tool that can unlock this capability. Southern Company is currently leading three key initiatives to help understand the benefit and the role that grid interactive efficient buildings will play in the future grid. The first two are residential smart neighborhoods, formed in partnership with Alabama Power, Georgia Power, EPRI, and DOE's Oak Ridge National Labs. One located in Birmingham, Alabama, pairs a community-scale microgrid with light-touch energy management controls inside of each of the 62 homes. The second, located in Atlanta, Georgia, takes a similar concept and brings all the distributed energy resources back behind the meter, and each of the 46 town homes has rooftop solar and residential battery storage. This project is currently developing AI-based controls that can balance comfort, cost, with grid services. Lastly, the third initiative is a partnership with Georgia Tech to take grid interactive efficient buildings from a residential setting into a commercial campus, where we can understand how the flexibility works when the incentives better align with the customer and there's more AI-based load flexibility available. Each of the projects we're currently undertaking requires multiple layers of optimization meaning we're balancing potentially competing objectives simultaneously. For example, using buildings for grid services while also maintaining that building's primary function. This is where AI fits in nicely, where it's able to ingest large data sets and predict the outcomes of different control approaches, leading to a co-optimal solution. We're really just getting started implementing AI at our Georgia Power Smart neighborhood, but are already seeing cost savings reduction potential of around 20%. We're also seeing peak load reduction of 10 to 15% from some early and preliminary testing. We're really more excited to continue testing and continue improving on these numbers, but then also expanding our use cases and our value streams that can be created using AI. We're expanding our R&D portfolio to create projects that can address these gaps and overcome the barriers to create a solution where buildings can participate in short-term grid needs, but then also participate in a platform that enables our transition to a net zero carbon grid. The benefits that AI brings to grid integrated buildings is the ability to manage all of the building's data simultaneously without having a person in the back room trying to crunch all of the numbers, which allows the building to operate more efficiently and use less energy, as well as shift the time of use of that energy to flatten the load curve, allowing utilities to save money and not turn on peaker plants, which also helps with decarbonization efforts. Barriers exist across the entire value chain, and uh, the first barrier will be the lack of understanding of uh, grid integrated buildings. So that can lead to some reluctance from the utilities and building owners to alter their business operations. Utilities don't have 100% control over a customer's building, but uh, uh, demand response and uh, load flexibility actually require building owners to support. In many cases, utilities would rather install uh, a new generator or upgrade their distribution, so they can for sure to have it when they need it. 
but that's definitely a more expensive route and emits more carbon. The second barrier would be a lack of interoperability that hinders AI from larger scale adoption. And you will see that many of the building control upgrades still need to be tailored for each site. And many of the buildings that are built uh, more than five years ago do not support open communication standards for grid integrated buildings. And the third barrier comes to the inability to monetize building flexibility and AI in buildings. We know that AI is about the software and the data sets and have no capital expenses. So that's why it's hard. We've set out to develop data predictive controls models to overcome the energy modeling complexities and avoid the repetitive building by building customization that can occur. We also explore data driven pathways to accelerate global scalability of grid interactive efficiency buildings. We're looking to establish a training data set for building system dynamics and operational conditions along with establishing guidelines for building controllers to collect data sets without impacting day to day operations. EPRI is in a unique position because we work with early stage startups all the way through utilities with field implementation. And we work to scale the early stage R&D concepts up to mature, benchmarked, fully implemented solutions. We do this by working with utilities, vendors, national labs, universities, and various other government organizations. In the way of critical research, uh, we have we do three things. The first one is a digital twin demonstration for fault detection and diagnostics uh, to improve the awareness of AI in building management. The second will be a, a data predictive control demonstration to accelerate algorithmic scalability and uh, repeatable success in deployments. The third one will be a high fidelity data set that can uh, support advanced building controls and also inform uh, building owners and utilities what the building is capable of the demand side resource. Our demonstrations are meant to show a viable and scalable solution and we have two different demonstration sites that we're working on. The first is based at our EPRI Charlotte headquarters which is roughly hundred thousand square feet in size and we have a second demonstration site at a smaller office building located in San Leandro, California, which is about 23,000 square feet in size. For this project, one of the ways EPRI is helping to bridge the gap between advanced technologies of AI and machine learning is to use our own office building here in Charlotte as a test site for the Grid Integrated Buildings Project. This allows us to have full access to the buildings, its systems, and all of the data for developing a solution that is truly scalable. This is one of the first grid integrated buildings and will be an excellent test bed as we build and grow the data set that comes from the unique usage of our own facilities. EPRI has been coordinating activities with a growing group of organizations including Stanford University, Southern Company, and the National Renewables Energy Laboratory along with others in a goal to develop and deploy these technologies on a global scale. This effort will be included in the grand challenges that EPRI will be issuing to the AI and electric power industries. Over the next five years, I really see these projects creating the foundation of how we use AI-enabled grid interactive efficient buildings in daily grid operations and also informing how we transition and how we incorporate GIBs into utility planning exercises. These same concepts apply more broadly when you think about homes and beyond as we continue to scale up and branch out with these technologies around the world. These AI solutions and the benefits they provide truly have the potential to revolutionize the commercial energy landscape. And EPRI's artificial intelligence R&D is committed to bringing industries together to overcome the barriers, accelerate development, deployment and adoption, and scale AI solutions for utilities and their customers.